hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I just had a couple things that I was gonna, I've been thinking about. Um, about the Revelation 12 stuff, you know, really the Revelation 12, 3, where it's talking about the red dragon. Um, <clears throat> Now, with what Scotty Clark was saying about the red dragon being Saturn and then having the stars for the crowns, and but in Revelation 12:3, when it's talking about that stuff, it does not say anything about stars. You know, it says with the woman clothed in the sun, with the moon at her feet, with the crown of twelve stars, and then after it talks about the red dragon. Then it says that the red dragon, that he does pull a third of the stars from heaven and they do fall to earth with his tail. So, without that happening, because then the rapture is after that. So, everybody's waiting to be raptured or whatever, but I don't think that it could be until we have this supposed asteroid shower that's going to come when when this all takes place and so that would be a good reason for them to hide uh, Planet X or Nibiru all along because like I said they had information on it before and then all, you know then they said the NASA never said anything about it much like it doesn't exist but they were for sure talking about it in 1983 they had a whole team of people working on it. And so that could be this red dragon thing coming in. Uh, I also looked up dragon. And I guess that when dragon, what dragon means is a uh, sea monster. And then in Revelation 13, it talks about the beast of the sea. And then the sea monster that comes up out of the ocean with uh, his hum what seven head or it's a, it's a little bit different than the seven heads and ten crowns or I don't know it's a little bit different than the one that was talking about behold a great red dragon you know in the heaven which that does not mean it has to be stars just because it says in the Shamoin that so he doesn't mention anything about stars. So it's below the stars when this thing's coming in, obviously they're talking about. So um and then also at NASA and the ESA and stuff, I'll leave the, the article that talks about it. Um that they pretty much confirmed the planet nine they're calling it. So it's like they're coming out and they're going to start talking about it a little bit now because they're probably, people are seeing it. So they have to come out and say something. They can't keep hiding it forever with just chemtrails. People are going to start seeing something. So that's their story. You know, they're rediscovering something that they already discovered before, I guess. I don't know. But, so... Wait for the asteroid shower, or stars falling from the heaven, and then, and then also in the movies, if you, when you watch all the rapture movies, you know how they put stuff in the uh, movies for us. A lot of them rapture movies, they show a asteroid shower happening fairly, pretty much at the same time when people are getting raptured out. So, just another thing that points to it. Well, I hope you guys are. Well, having a good day, like I said, and talk to you guys later.